What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're gonna check out six times WWE employees got injured, ring announcers, referees, and cameramen by a tap out corner. Um, this is part of the business. Sometimes the referees, the announcers, the cameramen, they can end up getting injured. You know, obviously it's not intentional, but it's part of the business. You know, when you step inside that square circle, everyone that's even involved in the production of it and making sure everything flows smoothly can sometimes get hurt. You know, that's just part of being a wrestler and being in a wrestling business. So we're gonna check out some of these moments. Appreciate all love and support. We're getting right into this video, man. Charlie Haas' signature entrance involved him running as fast as he could into the ring, then bouncing off the ropes. Unfortunately, this caused an accident on one episode of Raw. While making his entrance for a match against Johnny Nitro, Haas ran into the ring and accidentally knocked the ring announcer, Lillian Garcia, off oh, the edge. Oh no. Former Seton Hall University All-American. Oh. Yeah. The fall injured Garcia and sprained her wrist. She was helped backstage and someone else took over re-announcing for the rest of the show. Oh, wow. Luckily, Lillian was back on Raw the next week and WWE actually turned the accident into a storyline. The Money in the Bank that's, ladder match is the- That's crazy that they actually turned that into a storyline. That's that's WWE, man. Sometimes they, they'll turn something real into an actual storyline, but I'm glad she was okay. But once again, she you know obviously didn't see him. She wasn't even paying attention. She ended up falling and for those who don't know that that ring is pretty high up especially if you're not used to falling off you know from the ring you know it's a it's a decent height so it could definitely injure you if you especially if you fall the wrong way bodymen of chaos it's no surprise that the wrestlers get hurt but unfortunately in 2019 some innocent bystanders got injured Jeez. mustafa ali was about to grab the briefcase when brock lesnar's music hit and the beast came running towards the ring as brock did this he knocked over a ladder that accidentally hit some nearby cameramen oh. one of them actually got injured and had to stop filming oh, clearly damn. nobody is safe from brock lesnar yeah. before their match at wrestlemania roman Who remembers i think it was it was some segment he was having Brock Lesnar was having with uh J&J &J security and uh Seth Rollins at the time and I believe he uh it was I think Seth Rollins had like a, a car like a Cadillac or something like that gifted to him and I believe he swung the door like he ripped it off the hinges and then swung it and I think it I don't know if it hit somebody in the crowd or whatnot or landed some, somewhere near the crowd. I'm not sure if you guys remember that, but I do believe that was a situation where he damn near swung and it almost hit somebody in the crowd. I'm not sure, but I do believe there was another incident Brock threw something very far and it hit somebody. So correct me if I'm wrong, let me know down below. But I do believe it was... I just remember he launched the door and I think it may have almost hit somebody. Reigns and Triple H had an all out brawl on Raw. They fought all over the arena and eventually ended up backstage. Mm -hmm. During the chaos, the game threw a production box on the floor that accidentally hit a referee. Oh, it might seem like wow. nothing, but the object did some pretty bad damage to the ref's leg as he immediately started hopping. I never noticed that in this whole segment. My man was really hopping, damn. Dang, I never noticed it. And I've seen this segment so many times, but I never noticed the ref hobbling along. Wasn't wow. seen for the rest of the segment. The extent of the injury was revealed afterward as the referee needed stitches where the Whoa. box hit him. Sheamus competed in his first pay-per-view match at the Jesus. 2009 Survivor Series. Sadly, the big moment was overshadowed by a bad accident. The Celtic Warrior was part of a five-on-five -five elimination tag team match. At one point, Sheamus ran into the ring to break up a pinfall. Unfortunately, as he did this, the Celtic warrior accidentally hit the back oh, of the referee's whoa. head with his knee the ref laid on the ground and put up the x sign which is the signal that someone is hurt for real a second referee damn he had to put up the x sign for himself jeez you I, man it's crazy how sometimes you'll see something you're not even really paying attention because all the action and the chaos is happening in the ring he got legitimately kicked in the back of his skull and he he had to get have the wherewithal to like hey get somebody out here because i'm out holy he soon came out to officiate the match while the first ref was taken backstage to get medical help thankfully he recovered and was back to officiating wwe matches soon another dangerous Damn. wwe match is the elimination chamber batista was one of the wrestlers in the 2005 chamber match and was one of the last people to enter when the animals pod opened batista went on a rampage and destroyed the other wrestlers mm -hmm. batista went to throw chris jericho out of the ring but didn't see where he was throwing y2j yeah, yeah, yeah. and accidentally took out a cameraman the wwe employee was 
down and referees soon opened the chamber and got him out of there. The match continued and luckily no other bystanders were hurt. One Damn, of the most violent crazy. matches in WWE history was between Randy Orton and I always Nick thought that was just like a spot, but I guess he legit got hurt. I always thought that was just like a spot. <laughs> it looked like you know, a planned spot, but. Foley. Not only did Orton and Foley get hurt, Classic but match. so did the referee. Anything was legal during the match, and both men made sure Jesus. to utilize that rule. The ring became filled with weapons, which included thumbtacks. After hitting Foley with the RKO, Orton went to cover the hardcore legend. The referee counted the pin, but accidentally hit some tacks while yeah. he was doing his job. Yeah. Fans could see the official tense up I as soon as that. his hand hit the mat. That's okay. crazy. I, I remember him hitting the... Ah, the fact that he actually accidentally hit one of the tacks full speed while slamming down on the mat to count the pinfall is crazy. Of course, this wasn't a serious injury, but it had to hurt. Ooh, During a different did. match, Shane McMahon accidentally punched Chris Jericho in the face, which mm -hmm. made Jericho mad. To mm -hmm. see what Chris Jericho did to Shane, watch the video on screen. I think we've checked that video out, but yeah, he got a little overzealous with the punches, you know, his those fake punches he be throwing and I guess this time it wasn't fake, he actually hit him. And boy, oh boy. He, uh, <laughs> Jericho gave him a receipt, man. <laughs> that's that's part of the wrestling business. Sometimes you get a little excited, overzealous. You, you may catch a receipt coming your way. But dang, this I did not know the whole Triple H and uh, Roman Reigns segment when uh, Triple H got busted open. Him throwing that production crate legitimately caused the referee to, you know, get stitches on his leg, bro, like around his knee. And them production crates are pretty heavy, like, you know, in sharp corners. So, damn, man. It's just a testament. You know, we got to give, we got to show love to the camera crew out there. We got to show love to the referees. You know, everyone that's, our, you know, the ring announcers. Everyone that's pretty much in the danger zone to make sure the match goes how it's supposed to go. We got to show love to them just as much as the wrestlers because they have a specific job that they have to do to make sure that the people at home can enjoy the match just as well as the people in the arena and sometimes they end up accidentally getting hurt so comment down below let me know man did uh what what uh i guess you could say what uh incident or situation was the most shocking to you in this video for me it would probably have to be it would it would be the referee getting accidentally uh kneed in the back of the head and also the referee just his leg getting split open uh for triple h throwing a production crate and he you know not realizing he was there and you know ref just ends up you know getting his leg injured that that was surprising i've seen that segment so many times and i never really paid attention to that so but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on channel road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace